In this subsection, we will be giving an overview of the Tracker Capture app in DHIS2. We will describe its key features and will give you a demonstration of how to enter data using this app. The detailed objectives for this subsection include to understand how to select the correct tracker program you wish to enter data for, describe the layout and options of the Tracker Capture app, demonstrate how to search for a tracked entity, understand how to register a tracked entity to a program, understand how to fill in program stage details, along with demonstrating how skip logic can be used, and demonstrate how to schedule an event, and describe the widgets available in Tracker Capture. To cover a bit about the background for this session, let's remind ourselves about the key features of Tracker programs. They allow for individual itemized data collection. And by design, they are not anonymous in nature. There will always be an entity that is being tracked. For example, a person or a commodity. You can enter data using Tracker Capture on a web browser or by using the Android Capture app. The tracker program we will be looking at in this demonstration is the immunization program. This program captures information on routine immunizations in children. Let's take a closer look at the routine immunization schedule. We can see that a child's routine immunizations are scheduled at specific intervals. At birth, six weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, nine months, and 18 months of age. At each of these ages, they should receive specific vaccinations. And of course, any time they receive a vaccination, we would want to record that they have received that particular dose of the vaccination and the date they received it. The Tracker Capture app allows us to capture this information. Now let's discuss the main tasks we will be completing throughout this demonstration. We will access the Tracker Capture app on a web browser and access the immunization program at the YAM Health Center. We will then explore the Tracker Capture's interface and options available. After that, we will register a child and enroll them in the immunization program. Once the child is enrolled into the program, we will explore the dashboard available in their record. From the dashboard, we will add a new event that captures immunization data. We will schedule the child's next immunization according to the vaccination schedule. And finally, we will orientate ourselves to the Tracker Capture dashboard, explaining the options and widgets available. With our overview complete, we will move into our demonstration of Tracker Capture in the next video.